Hi guys, it's Barry and DR, and welcome back. We want to introduce you to a wonderful family, uh, T. Lamont and Karen, and they've just relocated here. They have three children, wonderful children, which we're going to get a chance to meet in a moment. Again, you, you talk about family. Um, you know, we, we were having some issues with customs. Um, yeah, this is great. Yeah, yeah. We, were having, we were having some issues with customs. Now, we're about, uh, what is yeah. we're about we're two and a half hours. What is it? We're, how far are we from the Capitol? Two and a half hours? Uh, about two, uh, two and a half hours. About yeah. two and a half hours. Yeah. Um, you know, DR Escapes, Willie, uh, got us to, um, to, to Santo Domingo, not once, but twice. Uh, we had to go to uh, the U.S. Embassy to have some documents on. Um, that was in Puerto Plata. Plata. That was in Puerto Plata. Yeah, what is that's that? an, an hour, hour and a half, half the other way. way. Yeah, one right. way. So uh, just, to, and you know, this guy, he won't let me give him any money. No, it's not what it's about, man. No, that's, this is, you know, you've you know offered me told? money yeah. so many yeah. times. Yeah. Remember the <laughs> shopping yeah. trip? I, I, see, that, see, this is what he said to me. All right, what you said to me is, well, if I have to charge you, I guess it's not friendship. Huh? I've never heard that in my life. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> I know. There's, a, there's a place on this outside the... Really? Yeah, no, okay. I know. I even remember we all went and spent the day in... Because uh, we're going to go again, so you'll know the shopping routes. for right, the right, 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 right. Right, and you're, at the end of the day when I, I, we stopped off the side of the highway, so I made sure you had your turn off to say goodbye, and we had one of your packages in our oh, car, right. right? And I remember you saying that. What, what do I owe you? And it's like, I mean, like, you know, yo soy americano. You know, it's like... Uh, <laughs> No, 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 that's not what it's about. You bring what you're good at to our right. family, we bring what we're good at. That's why I can't do everything. I know the places you're going to, I know how to do like the customs, you got to tell that right. story, and all that, <laughs> but the thing is, I can't, I've built friendships over almost two decades. This doesn't happen right. overnight. Right. That's what we're sharing. I know it's very difficult for a lot of Westerners to understand. They think there's an ulterior motive. I mean, Denise is excellent with arranging for for help in the house yeah, yeah, and yeah. the right and to cook and clean for you exactly. at a reasonable price. You speak some English and I, we can't that's do it expensive. all, but we're a family. That's real expensive. Mm -hmm. That yeah. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. Yeah, hundred and seventy-five dollars a month. That's yeah, hundred and seventy-five dollars a month, and she does a good job. Yeah, oh, she's, she's very good. Job. Yeah. Very good. Nice. Yeah. Excellent job. Yeah. Really you nice. See, and really sweet. Tell us the story oh, about yeah. Willie with the customs and. The, <laughs> yeah. This is great. This okay. Is, oh. Okay. So we 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 we're going through the process of getting permanent residency, and we th thought that that meant that when we were bringing our things over from the states that you know there were there would be no taxes uh, and we were kind of wrong on that. As a matter of fact, I don't know if you and I even talked about this. I know Willie and I did. And so uh, uh, Willie goes to, uh, to to customs with us and you know we don't you know we're not Dominican. We don't speak the language and, and what have you. The end result is Willie probably saved us a good four thousand dollars, and that's what happened. And, and so I'm saying, Willie, Willie, Dr. Escapes, how much do I owe you? And Willie says to me, You hadn't gotten it yet, have you? If I have to charge you, we're not friends. Mm -hmm. And what this means is, when I need you then you'll be a friend to me. I want another friend. We've, well, we, we make that clear because I know you're, you're both very talented people. You're both intelligent people and there are things that you're good at that we're going to need one day. And that's where we hope the door swings both ways. Sure, sure. And that's what it's about. I mean, you know, um, we don't know other than interviewing people by doing it. Ex you know, experience is, is often crystal clear when you experience something. and. When we say that, that you have family, if you choose right, to right, accept right, it, right, we, we, right. we mean that. We, right. we really mean that. Right, right. And, and again, it, it, when you come here, guys, you've got, you've got to leave that, that U.S. mindset behind. Because the U.S. mindset says, what, what's this guy trying to get from me? Yeah. That, that's what that says. You know, what, you know we, we found a beautiful piece of land. We decided to buy a beautiful piece of land. And now I'm saying, okay, well, I didn't already bought the land. The guy... Uh, Barry, Leanne, Willie, 
the occult. We had already bought the land. This is not about buying the land. This is no. this is <laughs> we bought the land. <laughs> long time. We bought that a long time ago. Right. These yeah, guys and, are serious. And the prices that you get it, other people are paying up maybe 65% more for the same type of land. And, and by the way, the land is gorgeous. It, it is. Yeah. It's, uh, it's absolutely <laughs> it's gorgeous. breathtaking. My the God, views. is it breathtaking. The views. But, you know, that's what it's about because I think from my study of 20 plus years of trend studying, I think that's the thing that broke the nation apart is the people were able to break the citizens apart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In all different ways, mm -hmm. by by religion, by color, by belief, and gotcha, gotcha, and and that is a hundred small groups are much easier to control than one or two large groups, and mm -hmm. they, and people, certain people understand this, and all we're trying to do is we've often said this place is kind of like it's not perfect, but it's kind of like Mayberry with internet. <laughs> you know, I mean, people are what it was 50 years ago. Right, what made right. that nation a great nation. And that's what's crumpled, and, and you know, uh, we appreciate people giving emails, people giving, sure, have them contact us, and, and that kind of thing, because other than, uh, you know, Larry's extreme talent to getting our, our name around the world, which is second to none, I, I don't know how else we're going to do it. And what scares me is I don't know how much more time we have to do mm -hmm. it in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what kind of kind of worries me. Uh, this is long past anything to do with real estate. I've been there, I've done that for many years. Lord has blessed me to be very successful that way. This is something that we feel that if we build a base, a foundation of, of the good old fashioned values, when, you know, like when your boy said, do you mind if we, I was flattered. Do you mind if we call you Uncle Barry? Mm -hmm. Mind? Dude, I was flattered. <laughs> and, and, and I mean, if, 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 People stick together like that. We're going to weather this right. okay. Right. We're going right. to be okay. Right. I'm not saying we won't be affected, but we're going to be okay. Right. Right. You know. Right. Is there anything you guys might want to say about um, other people that we didn't cover, who may be on the fence post about look? And I don't just say Dominican Republic. I never do. But is there any uh, from your experiences what you've learned from traveling mm -hmm. and doing? Maybe you can you know, help save one or two families uh, from heading up that chapter in life, don't let this happen to you. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's some advice you can give them, because you guys are well-traveled. Uh, you know, you guys have done your research. Maybe you could think of something you could share with another mother and father, and another set of parents that are contemplating, wow, this makes sense, but I can't pull them out of school. I can't, uh, wh whatever it might be. Um, you, know, oh, okay. you want to say anything on that? Well, as far as that goes, um, from what I, the education in America is not the education that we think that we're giving our children in America. It's not. It's not. It's not to make them smarter. It's to uh, the term. Uh, I guess I'll use that term. Dumb down. Mm -hmm. d the dumbing down effect of the children where you know the children will even ask questions about you know they're giving me this they, they have a ton of homework a ton of homework but then why isn't well, why are they taking these tests and then when they go to take the test that the standardized tests they're not passing something is wrong something's amiss so the thing is is that you need to save your children now throw them a life preserver and save them mm -hmm. if you have to you know, uh, if you can, you know, homeschool for a while. Bring them out. You know, you, TJ, Joshua, and Heaven are the names of our children. And they absolutely love the school that's here. And they get that hands-on uh, teaching that we wish that we, we, we could have gotten in the U.S. Karen, weren't you originally going to homeschool? Am I correct in that? I was. We were originally going to homeschool. We we were, and I said, well, okay, we're going to homeschool. We're going to go around for about a oh, year. Let's just see, you know, if we find a school for the children, and you know, all that good stuff. I had everything all organized and all planned. I knew my three-step plan. I was going to work my plan. But when we got here, we went to the first school and we fell in love with the school. The teachers embraced the children. The teachers actually loved coming to work. 
Mm. In the U.S., the teachers don't love coming to work. And in the U.S., it's like, sit down and shut up. Here's the paper, pass it up. Are you done? Whatever. That's basically it. And, and we're talking, we're not talking, we're not talking just public school. We're talking, uh, a, uh, we paid a lot of money for private schools there, the and we US. still have that issue. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We, paid, we paid a lot of money for private schools in the U.S., and we still had, no, no, but not, but not here, not here. The, the teachers actually love showing up for school, for class. You know how, you know, children are typical, you know, in the morning, sometimes they're sluggish, sometimes they're not. The teachers are like, how are you? Come on in. Because it, it, it's English speaking, so don't let that affect you. Don't let that say, well, they speak Spanish. Over. It's, a, it's a bilingual school. They'll, they'll, they'll learn Spanish. They'll learn English. They'll learn English to Spanish. They'll learn both. So don't let that be a deterrent or anything like that. That should actually, you know, pardon for, for kind of, please continue, but that shouldn't actually be a deterrent. That should be an enhancement. Mm -hmm. Correct. Because no. if you don't do that, your children are unemployable. Right. Your right. children right. are right. unemployable. Right. Right. right, because and the reason why I say that is because is because sometimes as sometimes as parents, when you know what to do but you really don't want to do it, you look for excuses, mm -hmm. and then you'll say, oh, they don't know Spanish. Oh, so we can't go, you know. So so sometimes you look for excuses. Mm -hmm. So when I when, when I when when I said don't let that be a deterrent that oh they don't speak Spanish. Don't let that to be don't let that be don't let that be an excuse mm -hmm. as to why you shouldn't make that move out of the US. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of, there are a lot of changes that have been have been made since we've been oh. since, since yeah. we've been here for the last just, six weeks. Just yeah. in the last six weeks really? we've yeah. heard we've heard quite a bit. A lot from your from your site, from your blog. Yeah, we yeah, try. Yeah, we, we, we do have a few people around the globe that uh, that's why we're not like an RSS feed website. We actually know what we're posting when we write an article about it. That's why it's one article every two, three days. It's not 50 a day. There's no way that can be researched. And, and I'm, I'm glad and I appreciate that, by the way, I'm giving you a pat on the back. Uh, whenever you get a little um, piece of information like you sent me a few mm -hmm. days mm -hmm. ago, it's much appreciated because it is going to help other people.